you are core boxing fans out there, how are you doing? It's Big Porky here. The voice of hardcore boxing. Uh, the voice of hardcore sneezing. <laughs> uh, somebody's just told me that if you put a face pack on your face and have a sauna and all that and facial sauna and put that on it, it'll jaw it all flow out and I'll try anything, paracetamol, lemsips, face packs, saunas, facial saunas. No, it seems to work, does it, Rocky? But, but anyway, straight into business, no messing about. Uh, right, here we go. Joshua slimmed down. Yeah, he slimmed down. Is he just 17 stone or just under? Uh, will that make a difference? I thought he's going to be quicker, obviously, if he's lighter. Is he going to punch any harder? No, I don't think he does. I think if he punches faster, that'll make a difference. He's obviously not as fast as Ruiz, as Ruiz so that's why he's slimmed down, so he can punch quicker, isn't it? Starting to itch this now. So he wants to punch quicker so he's slimmed down but I think that Andy Ruiz has played him all the way through, could be wrong but I'm going to go for Ruiz with his stoppage late on now. Ruiz is going to get no favours from Luis Pabon and he's definitely going to get no favours from Steve Gray. The other, the other two judges, I don't know but there's a... I've got it all over this stuff on my face here. The other two judges, uh, itching. I don't know about the other two judges, but I know Steve Gray uh, is not going to do any favours for a wheeze. He's an Eddie Earn man, Steve Gray. He has been years. And that's just boxing for you, isn't it? So, Joshua slimmed down, good luck to him. The two trainers, is it a problem? Uh, well, if you've got Ajo, Ajo Fernandez, is it? Or whoever he's called, I don't know, is it? Whoever he is. Is that the guy who was, has something to do? No, it ain't him, no. I don't know who this trainer is anyway, who Joshua's brought in to work alongside McCracken. I don't know, I don't care, but as far as I'm concerned, Eddie Hearn was spinning the narrative that Joshua just got caught by one punch after dropping Ruiz, so I don't know. But Dillian White asking if Wilder's effing stupid. Uh, well, he's not that stupid, is he? Because he's left himself wide open to be sued, hasn't he, Dillian, uh, Wilder and the WBC? But Dillian White's not sued them. So why isn't Dillian White pushing for the... Uh... I'm going to have to peel this off here. It's doing me head in. This is what you get when you listen to people. Right. Dillian White is not... I'm a bit disorganised today. I'm not very well today, to be honest. A lot. Dillian White, right, is... Wilder's not that stupid. Dillian White's not exactly the sharpest tool in box, is he? He's lost his mandatory position because of the WBC testing process. Now, Dillian White's been found not guilty, hasn't he? So, Dillian White should really... Dillian White should really be suing WBC if they don't put him back into the mandatory position. Why should he have to wait another 15 months when they've cleared him? So, because they're saying 2021. 
So that means that Dillian White's going to have two fights next year on pay per view in England that are not Wilder fights. So does Dillian White does Dillian White bothered? Well, we all know he's going to fight Chisora next year in a trilogy, and we all know he's going to fight Parker again. So it's the same old, same old, isn't it? It's a bit like. So I've just heard that I'm going to do a full video on that after I get this peeled off my face in a bit. Uh, so a journalist told me this and he didn't want to put it out. So I said, I'll put it out if you want. I won't mention your name. So that's brilliant, isn't it? Uh, so it is what it is, isn't it? But Dillian White should be suing WBC, shouldn't he? And should be issuing writs to get his mandatory position back. Why should he wait while the spring in 2021? Why is that? Hey? Why should Dillian White wait when he's clear? Because he's not that keen to fight Wilder, is he? If he were that keen, he'd be screaming blue murder. Uh, Danny Ryan says, I need to do a video apologising to Tyson Fury for saying he never gave $9 million to charity. Listen, Danny Ryan. It's obviously a fake account that you're on because you spelt Danny with three N's. <laughs> uh, if Tyson Fury gave $9 million to charity and you've got proof of that, I tell you what, I will pack my channel in. I will close it down and make all you trolls happy. You show me proof, all right? But if you have got proof, send me it on FaceTime. Let's have a look what you look like because you've got plenty of things to say, haven't you? you and a few other little people on social media all these people on social media the email me and he spoils it for the people who are genuine who will give me the phone numbers but this is how i look at it people give you the phone numbers on, e on email and if you get on with them over a few months it's great to talk to them to the minute but none of them have a profile picture do they on uh whatsapp why is that I don't know, so I don't ring people with no profile pictures. You should know that. But anyway, getting back to this. Uh, this is how I look at it. Tyson Fury needs to sue Eddie Hearn and the Sun newspaper as well as Porky's Corner because I said Tyson Fury didn't give $9 million to charity. Me, Russell Hartley. Tyson Fury wants to sue me. Sue me, it's my channel. Come and sue me. I'm saying you didn't get 9 million to charity. Eddie Hearn says you didn't get 9 million to charity. The Sun newspaper says you didn't get 9 million to charity. The Daily Mail says you didn't get 9 million to charity. When big, massive companies like that and Eddie Hearn say things like that, don't you think, Mr. Danny Ryan, that if Tyson did give the money to charity, he would just show a transaction money and he'd take libel action against these people. And the money that he makes off the libel, he could give all that to charity as well, couldn't he? All right? So stop being a Fury rimmer. All right, and just look at the facts. Tyson Fury did not give $9 million to charity. If he says he did, he's lying. I said that. He's lying, all right? Masterful boxer, he didn't get no to charity. All right, end of story. Jesus, how many more times? Uh, so. Uh, Dillian White's uh, now been cleared to fight by Hugh Carter and his B samples. Looks like it's all okay now. He's been cleared, so... As far as I'm concerned, the matter's closed now. Dillian White's clear to fight. Can't be starting to scream that Dillian White's a drug sheet. He has got one blemish on his record and he served a two year ban. There's a story behind that, but there's a story behind everything, isn't there? We all boxers. How many boxers come out and admit it? There's only Miller come out and admitted it. No one else has, to my knowledge. So, as far as I'm concerned, Dillian White, he can fight again. Boxing fans have to move on. He's cleared to fight. He's done that wrong. He's cleared to fight. He's now got a sue WBC, hasn't he? So, 
Gillian White sticking up for AJ on AFL. But it wasn't so long ago that they had beef, intense beef. Well, Anthony Joshua's paying Dillian White tonight to fight in Saudi. It comes out of his purse. He's working for Anthony Joshua tonight. So, of course, it's going to be nice to him. Do you know what I mean? That's just how it goes, isn't it? Don't believe anything that boxers say to you. They say one thing and do another. Where there's money at stake, everybody wants to high-five. Oh, it's AJ, high-five! It's a fight. It's a fight. I'm going to do my best. Be humble. It's a fight. When Dillian and him get it on to fight again, they'll write a script out and it'll be called Dillian and Joshua Intense Beef by Colgan Cassius or by Eddie Earn. That's just how it goes. But for tonight, Dillian White is employed by Anthony Joshua and he wants to get through tonight without any scrapes and without any, without any injuries. And he wants to get paid. All right. Personally, I think Marius Vac beats Dillian White tonight. I think he beats him. My opinion, I think Dillian White's there to be beat. I think he's on top of hill coming down now. So, it's my opinion. I'm entitled to it. So, it's just my opinion. Uh, he's not been training, has he, Dillian? I think he's there for attacking tonight. I think his mind's been took off the ball. We're talking about a man who's got a world-class training team behind him, but he's not been training, has he? He's overweight, and I think he's there to be beat. I think his mind's on other things. He's a millionaire. He's had all this with his B-sample and U Carter and... Look, Dillian White's not fought for a European title yet. Why is that? Why is he not fought for a European title? I just want to know. Come on, I just want to know. Why has he not fought for a European title? He's not fought for a world title. But he's had one, two, three, four pay-per-views. Joshua, Parker, Rivers. And who's the other one? Is it Lucas Brown? Joshua, Parker, Rivers. Joshua, Parker, Rivers. I think it's Lucas Brown. There's four pay-per-views. Oh, Joshua Parker, Rivers, Chisora. Four pay-per-views, Dillian White's had. Carl Froch had three. So we do the maths. I feel sorry for Dillian White. Do I feel sorry for Dillian White? No. As he is a multi-millionaire worth 10 million quid. Net. After four pay-per-views, yet yeah, it's not, to not taking legal action against WBC so and up until yesterday you weren't really getting stuck into your card was it but it's all sorted now so he's clear to fight that's it I don't want to hear anybody saying that Dillian White's a drug cheat he's done a two year ban and he's just dealt with this problem here he were clean on them other, other testing things as well that were tested around the same time so maybe Dillian White did get a bit of harsh press but I want to see Dillian White sue the WBC now, get his mandatory slot back and fight Wilder. I don't want to see him pick up another two pay-per-views against Parker and Chisora. I want to see him fight Wilder. I don't want to see him keep milking these pay-per-views for no belts. It's not good. Dillian White saying he's the can man, Porky. Yeah, he is. What can we do? I mean, it's his nickname, isn't it? The can man. Anybody, anybody who wants it can't get it. Well, Wilder wants it and he can't get it. Do I believe Dean White uh, ended up pretending to be Wesley Snipes on an aeroplane? Uh, I don't know. I wasn't there. But I've heard conflicting stories about it. I don't know. But if you can get some PR out of it, isn't it good for his boxers? I mean, we're in the entertainment business, aren't we? Do I believe anything that Dean White says? No, I don't. I don't believe a thing he says. If a man can't tell you his proper name, and why well, would I believe a story like that? Who's going to say? What other person's on that, on that plane is going to tell 6 foot 8, 22 stone, Dean White, that that story is not exactly the truth 
Nobody's going to tell him, are they? Nobody's going to tell him. But from what I've seen, the people who know about the story, the uh, they weren't there, were they? It's just, I don't know what to believe, but if somebody's trying to take a door off on a plane while you're on it, you'd want somebody like Dean White to go deal with him, wouldn't you? Because he's a big lump, isn't he? You'd want somebody to go do it, but isn't it impossible to take door off an aeroplane when you're inside the plane? I think it is impossible, isn't it? And it's Dean White, because that's not his name, isn't it? So the story would have a question mark against it, wouldn't it? But who's going to question Dean White? when they can all talk about it and get views and I mean it was trending wasn't it on behind the gloves IFL boxing social so nobody's going to want to pop his bubble are they? Bubble are they? They're all going to want to big him up aren't they? I mean Dean White's done more interviews out there than Anthony Joshua Dean White's done 24 interviews and Joshua's done 21 but he's fighting each star attraction so it's a strange old game, isn't it? But good luck to Dean White. If he's seen a notch in the area and he can use his size and intimidation to carve his way through boxing and people are going to fall for it, good luck to him. But hey, listen, for all we know, he might really be Wesley Snipes in disguise. I mean, he could even be an MI5 agent, couldn't he? Or MI6 or something. I don't know. Uh I mean, he's come from nowhere, hasn't he? But I prefer him to be known as the Shook Knight of boxing. So, because Shook Knight didn't really know anything about rap music, did he? Don't tell me... You're running to Wilder... To, you're running to Wilder while fighting F-class guys. Look, Marius Vac is not an F-class guy. Uh, this is from Craig. Marius Vac Craig is not he's not F class, he's actually probably C class stroke D. Dillian White's probably B class. But Dillian White's I don't think he's sharp and I don't think he's mate Dillian's got the mindset at the moment. So I think Marius Vac could give Dillian White problems tonight. I think he could give him problems. I think he could beat him. I just hope that he's he's switched on enough to to spot this. That's all I hope. Uh, we switched on enough to spot it so does Dillian White fight AJ and does he beat him next year if Dillian White fights AJ next year it'll be because Andy Ruiz has beaten him and Eddie Hearn will be running around saying things like it's not about the belts it's about the fight that's what will be going on so that's how I look at it I'm going to peel all this off now so peace out keep on trucking keep sporting boxing shout out to Innovation Alloys face is itching like mad but I wish all the fighters that are fighting in Saudi tonight all the best uh, I've got Dean White in an accumulator so but I think he could be there for beating tonight but, uh, sorry, Dillian White. He could be there to he could be there to get beat Dillian White tonight. But I think he wins. He's in my accumulator to win by stoppage. But Dillian White might not be focused tonight. Let me tell you, he might not be focused. But it is what it is, isn't it? Joshua, should he win tonight? No, he'll get stopped tonight, Joshua. If not and he wins it'll be because he's had help off at referee and judges but I think that I think that Joshua gets beat tonight so and I think Eddie Hearn marches on with Joshua no belts because if, if Andy Ruiz wins tonight what Eddie Hearn will do he'll try and freeze Wilder and Ruiz out he'll freeze them out and he'll carry on doing his own little thing without any belts that's what I think will happen he'll try and get boxing Fans to say, in about belts. That's what I think will happen, but here's what it is, isn't it? Is a ring magazine belt free? They might try and work something with that. I don't know. I don't really care, to be honest. I feel that terrible, honestly. I feel really crap, but peace out. Shout out to a certain gentleman who was sending me emails this morning. Listen, mate. 
I found your account. You're on. You're on about. You've been using a different name for ages. So, of course, I'm going to mute you. But the thing is, when I mute you, you only find out about it if you're looking on another account. You see where I'm coming from? That's why I mute you. All right. And then when you, people start complaining, saying I've muted you, they would only know when they're on another account. So, little trick at trade there for you. But if I want to mute you, it's my prerogative, innit? You can't say to me you want to debate with me. Oh, you don't want to have a debate with me, Porky. You don't want to debate with me. So if I say, look, go away, you boring pants off me. Sending me stuff when you've been using same account. Same pictures and different names and, oh my God, it's... It's unbelievable what I'm having to put up with, but... It is what it is, isn't it? So I mute you, so get over the fact that you've been muted. All right. You can send as many abuse as you want. My channel's going nowhere and it's crap. Look, it is what it is, isn't it? It's boxing, isn't it? All right. My channel's doing better than your channel because you've got one subscriber. <laughs> so peace out. Keep on trucking.